This is a story about Citizen Simcom machines and a great relationship that Jeremy from Progimax up in Shipley has because your relationship with Dave, well, it started in 1996? That was like a long time, yeah, 25 years. So in 1995, I met Dave, and 1996, we bought our first L20 machine. Right, so Dave would have just got out of school then, possibly. We were very young. <laughs> So anyway, but why did you buy, the, buy that first Citizen machine, the Syncom machine? Well then Citizen were, uh, brought out their first machines with electric drives yeah. rather, and we had a lot of problems with hydraulics and pneumatics on our current machines yeah. um, and so that caught my fancy and Dave convinced me to buy one um, right. and the rest is history. The rest is history. But so in that time, the 25 years, I'm assuming you had loads of support, sales, help, etc. Et so it's not just about Dave coming out and selling you a machine? Now the two companies have worked very very closely together so yeah. whenever we have a problem up to now they've had the solution so right. we've always worked very closely together and it's, that's important that supplier customer relationship. Absolutely. Now looking at these machines they're, they're, they're all Mitsubishi controls? Some of the older ones could be a the, the older version but the, the latest ones have all yeah. got the Mitsubishi control. Okay and that ties in nicely with one of your latest acquisitions which is the Miano machine so the guys can switch easily between these machines? Yeah the, the guys running the sliders can jump onto the, the uh, Miano and understand it yeah. virtually out of the bag it's so really really not, useful. Nice and simple? Yeah. Well, so not, yeah. Don't tell them it's too simple. <laughs> but also it ties in with offline programming because you use the Alcart Wizard as well? We use the Alcart Wizard yeah, yeah. so we do program everything for the sliders and the Mianos with using the wizard. Right, okay. So huge fans of these machines. Now that I'm looking around here, eight Syncom machines, yeah. three meter bar feed, so you're running essentially 24 seven. The critical bit of a sliding and Swiss auto lathe is it has to run unmanned. Yeah. So you have to control, again, control the back end, control the swarf, you're 90% yeah. of the way to controlling the yeah. uh, the unmanned running oh, capability. That's, I'll come on to that in a second in terms of controlling the swarf. So, but also, with the, you know, you've got your three metre bar feed, you're going to be changing bar diameter and things like that. That's another thing. Is it easy to change over? It is if you set yourself up right for it. So you set yourself up as a, a pit yeah. crew in F1, so we can get that down within just over the hour, hour and a half mark for changing oh. a, full, a full bar change. Okay. Practice makes perfect. Absolutely. Now, the next start, the stage in your process with the Syncom, well, it's in Syncom machines, is the LFV technology, because you had an L20 before, and you were manufacturing, well this component I understand, there, was, there were issues though. Yeah, so this small titanium boss with a, a thread, um, it's got an M4 thread through the middle, we were struggling to control the swarf right. and maintain reliability cutting the titanium on, the, on the, uh, the thread on the inside. Okay, so no problem cutting tough materials though, it's just the actual swarf process security. It was managing the swarf that right. was the biggest issue. And you've got something here you prepared for us earlier, which is a great example. Yeah, yeah so here we, here we have the previous condition that we had where we were getting a lot of stringy swarf, um, difficult to control, getting tied around the, the swarf conveyor yep. and struggling to automate it. And then LFV came along, what's LFV happened LFV came along and that transformed it into small, wow. tightly curled pigtails, easy to, easy to control, easy to automate and, and it did literally transform our life. All oh, right. Okay. So, I mean, were you having to stop and start every sort of four or five components, and now you could just run it twenty four seven? You didn't know when it was going to happen, and obviously right. the unpredictable nature yeah. goes against automation. Whereas now, we can leave it. We can leave it under control. We can run it for 10, 12, 15 hours unmanned, cutting right. titanium, um, and we've got some great results. No what about the end end with the, with the swarf bin? How, how often are you emptying that now? As we've, as You're before? not taking off a lot of swarf. It was more stopping it to get the conveyor yeah. detangled. Right. So that now that that's a thing of the past. There you go. So nice and simple. LFB swarf sort of process security. Well, process. You have got that full process security now. Swarf ingress and damage is a thing of the past. That's it, yeah. Jeremy. Great example. Citizen Syncom machines with the LFB. Thank you very much. Thank you.